Trigger Q&A time with Mandy Rain. Yes. Lots of questions sent in for Mandy Rain. And then also you guys can get her Ride EP right now available on iTunes. Okay. So for everybody who's sending questions, thank you so much. Sorry if we couldn't get to your question. Coming in from Twitter, Lexi Whitmarsh. Uh, asks Mandy, if you weren't in the entertainment industry, what would you want to be doing? Ooh, but this can apply to everybody. I don't know. I really don't know. Like, um, I guess probably something in the industry, like the great thing about it is that I've learned a lot of things. Like I've learned how to work Pro Tools and Logic. I've learned a lot about music and then I could produce if I wanted to. I could do PR, I could do social media, I could do photography. Like I've learned so many crafts from being in the industry. So I guess I could do something, but you know. Brett, what would you do? Uh, panda washer. Cool. You know, there's a lot of pandas out there, they're dirty. Yeah. In zoos. Honestly, though, I'd want to work at a zoo. Okay, Brie? I would direct tasteful porn. Cheesy, but beautiful porn. So wait, like Who on- Who watches beautiful porn? I do. <laughs> That's fantastic. So, so like, you wouldn't see junk. Would you see you nipples? Would. would you no, see you would gonads? see everything. I'm Chins. just picturing someone who's like, I am a pizza delivery man who cares if you like this 15-inch sausage. It is not big sausage <laughs> pizza. Um, and I would work with animals in some way, shape, or form. Okay, from... At the zoo with me. Cecil 5M, what is your all-time favorite band? There's this great uh, album with Buddy Guy uh, in Muddy Waters and um, Willie Dixon. It's like old blues, like Muddy Waters folk singer. And Love it's it. just like th four dudes just Cool. Velvet Underground. Cool. I like like Imagine Dragons, Fall Out Boy. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, right. I like performers and singers more than I like bands, personally. Gotcha. And I feel like what I always gravitate uh, towards when I'm having like a bad day is Bob Marley, so I would have to say Bob Marley. Even though mm -hmm. I want to say Minor Threat because that's what's nostalgic for me, but Bob Marley always makes me so feel good. So the Wailers. Good. From Maximiliano Nino on Twitter, he says, or she, what has been the best dance experience you've ever had? Boopity boop boop. This isn't me as a person, but the best dance experience I've ever heard is someone I am very, very close with. He uh, had this extremely evil teacher and he was in his like cafeteria, like dancing, right? And he's dancing and then he turns and slams his arm op like open and slams coffee all over the <gasps> teacher. Wait, it gets better. And this is like when he was like like seven or eight, and he just starts peeing. <laughs> He's gonna be so mad that I told the story. Well, you didn't say his name, so it's okay. It's so funny. I was crying for five minutes when he told me. <laughs> that is at a restaurant, crazy. like in public, like screaming, laughing. I That's can't no imagine. Idea. I can't. Okay, coming in from Instagram from Homeam. Would you rather be stuck in Nicki Minaj's Anaconda video or turned down for what video by DJ Snake and Little John? Boot from Jersey. Anaconda. Okay. Uh, yeah, That's Anaconda. Easy. Anaconda. Yeah. There's far more places to get stuck in the Anaconda video. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, Brad. We know, Brad. Coming Brad in, assets. yes, coming in from Melly Ligas. Uh, this might be completely unrelated to anything, but how do all of you deal with bad hair days? Any advice? Because I've had a very bad hair week. Boop from Massachusetts. You're preaching to the choir, okay? I know how to work a bad hair day. There's multiple uh, bits of advice I could give you. Number one, dry shampoo. Dry shampoo. Dry shampoo the night before, because that way by the time the morning comes, it's kind of like uh, dissolved and it, it helps give you body and it's absorbed the oil. So dry shampoo the night before. And then also, if you must, add some curls, because I had horrible hair this morning, so add the curls. And then lastly, if you need to, throw it up in a top knot, a boop boop. Okay. See, I'm like, beanie bitch. Oh yeah, beanie, beanie too. Beanie bitch. Yeah. Or beanie babies, just cover your head in beanie babies. Right. Yes. I literally put all of my hair up into a beanie and I look like I'm like sick, but it's okay. Cause <laughs> I look like a boy or like I'm sick, but yeah. I don't really care. I'm like, I walk around like, yeah, I'm bald. Is that yeah. an issue? Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> and then you get that thing where if you pull it out, you get to go. You get to like whip your hair all around. Brett, do you have any ideas for bad hair days? When I have a bad hair day, I'm kind of screwed. Usually the reason I have a bad hair day is because I need a haircut and I just go get a haircut. Okay. Coming in from Facebook, from Marin Karina Jacobson. First of all, I just want to say I love Pop Trigger. Thank you. Second, where does Mandy get inspiration from? Boo. My real life experiences. Like, you know, really, I mean, it sounds cliche, but every time that I deal with something and I go into the studio and the next day, I can write about it and kind of like share it with the world. So probably that. I love that. From Kevin Mayorga, Sam Breen Brett should be in Mandy Rain Sex music video. What? Oh what? my God. Doing yes. what? What would we do? I want you guys to just be in the background, like just robot dancing. Good. Like, okay, <laughs> okay. Well, I can robot dance. That I can do. I'm already a robot. Done. 
Um, from Kathy Hasey. Hey guys, I'm a huge fan of the show. Did you know that all of your last names almost mean something in German? Sam in German chess is called shock. Oh. Brie, Esrig means vinegar. <laughs> no <laughs> way. I knew it. Are you oh, serious? That's funny. And Did Brent, you know that? No. Brett Ruhlick, I'm dying. Do you know what yours means? It means, really? Brett's, me, Brett's means honest. Ew. Ew. Right, but the Ew. way you use it is as if to say, like, are you serious? Well, honest. I think you should take that. Um, and and then, your last name means rain. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Kathy ended it with, just wanted to let you guys know, a boop boop. I like that, <laughs> a boop boop. That's so that's it for our Q&A today. Big round of applause for Manny Rain. Make sure you get her ride EP available right now on iTunes, and we will see you guys all next time on Pop Trigger.